as far as the employment rates and things like that? Um, are these are these even on the agenda? Is this what being talked about um, when we're developing our communities? We look at right here in District Six and District Seven what um, Mama Diaz has, has Desley has done. She's done talk about Desley Brooks. Desley Brooks. She's done so much redeveloping over the past ten years of just her involvement and her leaving her fingerprints and her handprints over the city for the people of the city and. Um, being a powerful woman like that, man, it's so, it's so difficult because now you have the insecurities of everyone else flaring. And people are wondering, how is this person still doing this? How is this person uh, galvanizing uh, all of these people, young, old, uh, however it may be? There's no generational gaps with that. It's just a, it's a support system. But she's shown through her work, through years of developing and always being on the front line when the people need her. And in my neighborhood, they, they've turned my neighborhood to, they call it Nod now. It's like yeah. North Oakland, Berkeley. It's just like, you know, it's like, wow, like we, we get pushed out. And, um, but we have to understand in relation to location, we 10 minutes from San Francisco. So of course they want to take over that area, you know what I mean? Um, but right here, here's the culture, and here's the pulse and the heartbeat of the city of, Cal of Oakland, California. Talk about East Oakland. And East Oakland, and especially District 6, District 7 in this area. Um, and they don't have a stronghold control. They don't have a representative for their business plan in that area. You talk about the big business people, the, the, business, billionaires. the billionaires and the millionaires. They're looking like them. How can we get a? How can we get positioned over there? What do we have to do? And then the conversation at that round table is, well, we we got to get that lady up out of there. Hmm. We got to get her out of there because that's you know she she's presenting a problem to us because she's not just gonna let us bulldoze her out. They're not going to do all of this development in this community and then now that it looks fully refurbished, okay, now you want it. But when it was ravished and when, it, when nobody wanted to live here, we've been here and we've been struggling. We've been asking for these funds that should be allocated to what's going on in our community, to the rebuilding. But now that we've gotten them and it was slowly gaining them and we're developing and we're creating new things, uh, now you guys want to come in and take it over. So we have to support that lady. It is imperative that we utilize our vote. So many people have fought in their lives and so many people have given up so much stuff just to have their voice heard. To all of the individuals that can't vote, to those that have set up and watched certain things happen due to the fact that they did nothing about it. Now you can do something about it. Now you can make a change. Now you can create what it is that you want to be created by everybody coming together for a cause. Don't be bamboozing into thinking, oh, you're a felon, you can't vote. There's certain things, you've been to jail, you can't. There's so many tricks that they play. And the trickery is to trick us out of our position. So make sure that you look up on it. Make sure that you gain some information because this will be the same things that you'll complain about that we could have campaigned about. Utilize your vote, November 6th. Make sure you make your vote count. Because we've got the power right here in this community to tell them that you can bring every dollar you want to here. It's not going to make any difference. Amen. Because we are smarter than that, we're better than that, and we deserve better than that. Thank you for your time. I ask for your vote, and thank you for coming.